In the vast annals of Hollywood history, there have been numerous power couples whose love stories have captivated the public's imagination. However, none have quite matched the enduring legacy and profound impact of Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward. Their unparalleled on-screen chemistry, unwavering commitment to each other, and shared dedication to philanthropy have firmly established them as the greatest power couple in Hollywood history. Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward's love story began in 1953 on the set of the romantic comedy The Long, Hot Summer. Their magnetic connection was palpable, sparking a romance that would withstand the test of time. They married in 1958, embarking on a journey that spanned 50 years until Newman's passing in 2008. Their deep affection for one another was evident both on and off screen. They worked on their marriage. Through the ups and downs of life, they stayed devoted to each other. Newman and Woodward had incredible on-screen success in several notable films, including Rachel, Rachel, The Drowning Pool, and Mr. and Mrs. Bridge. Their remarkable on-screen chemistry breathed life into their characters, captivating audiences and earning critical acclaim. Whether portraying tender moments with intense emotional depth, their performances were nothing short of extraordinary. Let's delve into a few of their most notable movie collaborations. 1. The Long, Hot Summer, 1958. This film marked the beginning of their on-screen partnership and their off-screen romance. Set in the sultry Mississippi heat, the movie tells the story of a drifter named Ben Quick, Newman, who sets out to win the heart of Clara Varner, Woodward, the daughter of a wealthy landowner. Their electrifying performances and undeniable chemistry made this film a classic. 2. Rachel, Rachel, 1968 in this powerful drama, directed by Paul Newman himself, Woodward portrays the awkward character, Rachel Cameron, a repressed 35-year-old schoolteacher grappling with personal and emotional struggles while still living at home with her mother. Newman takes on the role of Rachel's former lover, who returns to her life. The film earned Woodward an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, highlighting Award. her exceptional Joanne acting Roy. skills. I can only say I, I've been daydreaming about this. Upon the film's release, Newman remarked in the press that Woodward had given up her career for him, and that's why he directed the movie for her. By that time, Woodward and Newman had three daughters and were living in Connecticut, far from the glare of the Hollywood spotlight. 3. The Drowning Pool, 1975. This thrilling detective drama serves as a sequel to the popular film Harper. Newman reprises his role as private investigator Lou Harper, while Woodward portrays a woman caught up in a dangerous web of intrigue. But Franks. Bull, bull what? You got nothing in there. The film combines elements of mystery, suspense. Because Harper days are mystery days and Newman and Woodward's magnetic on-screen presence, creating an engrossing, must-see viewing experience. 4. Mr. and Mrs. Bridge, 1990 Based on the novels by Evan S. Connell, this poignant drama depicts the lives of Mr. and Mrs. Bridge, a conservative upper-class couple living in Kansas City during the 1930s and 1940s. Newman and Woodward deliver exceptional performances as they portray the complex situations that arise in a long-term marriage. The film is a heartfelt exploration of love, marriage, and societal changes. 5. Paris Blues, 1961, follows the turbulent life of a jazz trombonist named Ram, played by Paul Newman. His effortless charm and brooding presence perfectly embodies the character of a talented yet troubled musician. He is a man torn between his love for music and his feelings for Lillian, played by Joanne Woodward. Nobody in this whole world is ever going to be as right for you as Woodward's hope. Lillian is not just a love interest. She is a woman with her own dreams and aspirations. The film is filled with moments of tenderness, intensity, and affection. Newman and Woodward were pioneers in using their fame and wealth to make a meaningful impact on society as well.
Philanthropy played a large role in their lives, especially after losing a son to a drug overdose in 1978. In 1982, Newman founded Newman's Own, a food company that donates all profits to charitable causes. Newman's Own quickly gained popularity and became known for its salad dressings, pasta sauces, and other food products. The company's success allowed it to donate substantial amounts of money to a wide range of charitable organizations. In the realm of Hollywood's power couples, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward reign supreme. Their extraordinary 50-year-plus love story, remarkable on-screen chemistry, and unwavering commitment to philanthropy have solidified their position as the greatest power couple in Hollywood history. Their legacy as talented actors, devoted partners, and compassionate humanitarians will continue to inspire generations, reminding us that the transformative power of love can move us to greater heights both on-screen and off-screen.